Morning guys, um, I thought I'd do a quick review on this TV I bought a little while ago. Um, I'm pretty impressed for the price that I paid for it. Um, obviously I've already opened it up and it's already set up stupidly but I need to make a stand for it yet because it's going across like two tables at the moment. I know right? Um, ow. But it is a 4K Ultra HD, uh, 55 inch smart LED TV. There's the details there. Um, I don't know if you can really put, like, understand how big this TV is for the price that I paid as well. Um, let me put you there for a minute. So like. Like this is me to it, so I think you can quite see. I think you can see like how big it actually is. Obviously, inside you get all the packaging and stuff like that, and you get the leaflets and whatnot. Normally, when normally when you buy this sort of thing. Um, the speakers on it are pretty rubbish, so I went and bought this beauty, which actually has pretty good speakers on it, to be fair. I bought the soundbar, so you can plug just Bluetooth, and then you've got a max output, which is 150, equaliser. Um, you can have different things plugged into it, which is pretty good. I paid 70 quid, I think, for this one. Let's have a look here. Same thing. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, I paid 70 quid for that, I think it was. And um, it has got a really good sound system, just like the TV has, actually. So I'm going to take it inside and I'll show you. Right, so the TV was £300 and the sound bar was £60. I just had a little receipt. And I didn't think it was a bad price for for what it is. So I can't really get you a good quality thing up because I've just got the news on right now, which they seem to be somewhere, and of course it's bad quality. But if I uh, spin you around, then you uh, you will see. So there's the TV. It doesn't look so big now that it's in a in a room, but it is pretty big, I'm not gonna lie. And uh start turn it up. What happens? Do they have new elections or how would it happen? Do you know? What happens next is that the president will ideal foundation. Next thing to do is So that's just coming from the TV. That that's not a bad Sound quality at all. NHS.UK. Really? Or you think about it? Um, of course, obviously, you've got, you can obviously connect this TV to the Wi Fi. So, obviously, you've got YouTube. If it works, the internet keeps playing up here. which is nice to have. You've also got Netflix, which is pretty important for people, isn't it? Like, let's face it. And then you've got, let me turn this off, turn it back on again. You can also plug a USB into it um, with different stuff on, which when I turn it back on again, you'll see that it will uh, It'll, it'll come up showing that. We wait a few seconds. There we go. So just click no because you don't want to go onto it. Um, then you've got Freeview Play here. Click on that one there. And you've got all your. BBC iPlayer and BBC Sports, BBC News and 
and all that sort of stuff on the free view play. I've never heard of it as three free view play before. Um, go down, you've got Red Dwarf, Comedy, Drums and Soaps, Entertainment. Just you it just goes on. So let's get back off this. And then obviously you've got quite a bit on the remote. So source, obviously, do that, and then you've got all your options down the bottom there. So you've got digital TV, which you're on now, you've got DVBS, uh, HD1, HD2, and HD3 components, AV, and analog. Analog doesn't get used anymore. Um, go across the media, you've got USB, media server, I don't even know what that one is. Then you've got settings, uh, you've got network, system, channel stuff, and then you've got your apps. You can download apps onto it, I believe, um, but if there's anything like my partner's TV upstairs, it was a bit of a pain to do. I'm not going to lie. Then you've got picture, it's gone to picture, you've got dynamic, movie, oh, you can't see. Economy, oh, go away. Uh, so please do that one standard personal not really seeing much difference here and dynamic movie comedy which I'm guessing that's what it's set on, uh, set on. then you've got sound so you've got movie sports personal Standard. Music. Which sounds pretty good for the speakers that I've built in. Let's face it, it sounds pretty good. And then movie. I always leave on movie because we don't ever watch um, music or anything on this. If we do, we play it through the soundbar. So before I move the soundbar and stuff out of the way and move the TV out of the way so I can show you what's at the back, I'm going to quickly show you the um, soundbar. So I'll turn this right down. So the soundbar comes with its own remote. So you did a little thing. Obviously you've got your bass here, your treble there, equaliser, mute, you've got your Bluetooth, and this one here allows you to just go through whichever settings you want. So if I switch this on, Magnet in one swipe, remove makeup. Listen, and how good that is. Miss like, that is pretty good. That TV's right down as well. I've got to mute the TV so you can see it. Uh, where are the muters? I don't ever get a chance to, uh, I don't ever get a chance to watch this because my partner's son's always watching it. Um, so you can see the TV's muted, so that's just through. That's just through the. Um, I'm lucky to marry you. Out of room. Through the now. That's just stupid sitting out in the bush all night. That could be dangerous. Let me turn that off. And then obviously you've got, you can obviously click Bluetooth. If I do that, you've got buttons on here as well to click. Gosh, dusty already that. I dust this off with it. Um, click Bluetooth, it will move over to the Bluetooth settings so you can connect your phone or whatever else to it. You've got loads of different settings for it. As you can see, um, that one there is for the TV, so we leave it on that one there. It goes red when it's turned off. So, right, right here, let me pull this out. So you've got your power, power in, you've got your optical. The optical cable right there, okay, which is then plugged into the TV. You got USB. Uh, you got uh, AUX in, and you got HDMI port. So that's pretty good to be fair. And this is this is a really good 
This is a really good samba. Like um, for the price you pay for it, it's a really good samba. There's all the details there. So if you would like to pause it so you can read it, please be my guest. So what I'll do now is, guys, I'll quickly uh, pause this and then um, I'll turn this TV around and clean the lens off as well by the looks of it. So I'll be right back. Right, guys, so I've just put this TV put on the floor and turned it around. The TV is super light compared to what it used to be. Um, the one thing I'm not too sure about, it's a huge TV. Obviously, it's going to weigh some. Oh, my God, it's not going to focus now, is it? Hold on one sec, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's a huge TV, but yet the mountain brackets for it is here, 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 and here. And yet you've got... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I don't know what to think about that, but yeah. So on the side here, you've got your USB. You've got your CI card in. You've got your earphones. Uh, service. SD card, you've got your obviously HD in, you've got your aerial, and you've got sat in. Over here, you've got you obviously you can plug in Ethernet, which if you can, and you can hide the wire, do it because it's a lot quicker. Uh, you've got your two USBs, you've got your obviously your optical cable. Then you've got over here one HDMI and another HDMI, and then you've all you've got your AUX slots here. Um, I think that's it. I actually don't even know where wherever the buttons were. Let me show you the details here so you can just pause it. So if you want to pause that, so if you go through, you can see it goes from 110 to 145 to then 180, depending on what you've got it set on. NG class A, that's what you'd expect from a TV like this. But yeah, sorry, it's not much, guys. Around again. Um, next time I do something drastic and buy something like this, I will. Um, I'll be sure to uh, do an unboxing. But yeah, let me know, guys, what you think. Um, if you've got one of these TVs as well, let me know what you think, because I really like it. From what I can use, from when I've used it. It's been really good, I've really enjoyed it. It's been a really good TV and the sound bars are absolutely amazing that goes with it. So um yeah let me go let me know guys. Uh it'd be good to know what you think as well. But anyway, that'll be it. It was only gonna be a short review on it. Um so sorry it's not very long. So thanks ever so much for watching guys. Uh hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.